Hi, Jose. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good too. You are good. so you are so early now. What yes, happened? Yes, I, I normally <laughs> connect at this time. It's just yesterday I connected at this time. Actually, I connected. I connected earlier. Actually, yesterday I connected at seven fifty-five. Um, and no one was no one was there. And then I noticed that my camera, it, like the light of the camera, was on, but the camera I couldn't I couldn't see myself. And I tried to activate it, but it looked like like it was using the camera in another program. I didn't have the, the camera okay. on in another program. So I, I disconnected. I disconnected, and I said, okay, well, we'll have to see if maybe um, there's a problem. And I disconnected, I connected again, and the same thing. So I decided in that moment, I decided to uh, restart my, my computer. But, you know, sometimes the computers, they, they okay, take a right now, restart. So, right now, yeah, the camera is okay, but you do a little cut, not so clear. Can you hear me now better? Oh, right now better. Okay, perfect. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, there you go. So how are you doing, Jose? How was your um, How was your day today? Uh, my day was a little busy working in my office. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know it's uh, it's uh, well, not even in the middle of the week, right? We still have uh, three more days for the for the end of the week. Yeah, and and uh, do you do you start work very early, Jose? Yes, I start at eight o'clock. So from from eight no from eight a.m. to five p.m. And the uh, from Sunday to Friday only. From Sunday to Friday. Oh uh, no, Monday. Sorry, Monday, oh, Monday. to Friday. Monday, Monday to yes. Friday. Okay, so just five I, days. Yes, I rest Saturday and. Sunday. Okay. Okay. I see. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, so Jose, um, it, I have a question for you. So you're, you have a background, you have a very interesting background. Is it like, like a pool or something like that? It's like, uh, there's like, uh, ocean grill, I see. It's the ocean. ocean. Oh, okay. <laughs> you like the ocean? Yes, I like the ocean. But it's a little dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, it depends. It depends what part of what what ocean it is, right? Uh and and how far into the ocean. Because if it's in like really really far into the ocean, um like there are no waves and everything so the only thing that that, that you could be you, you can be in danger of are like um certain type of fish that might be a problem but yeah. other than that yeah it's not too bad um and also remember that like i said it depends on the type of ocean because for example um there are oceans like well like the mediterranean sea it's uh very very calm because it's a sea right hello daniel Daniel, you need to change your your setting. Daniel always makes a big impact when <laughs> you know at the beginning of the of the meeting. Hello. Hi. What that's, about? Yeah, it's much better. better. Yeah, much much better. <laughs> I just finished a meeting with, with my in my office and yeah. I was using the, the same microphone, the same computer. I don't know what happened with I have to change to this platform. I don't know. Yeah, technology is weird. I I mean you never know. <laughs> <laughs> That's that funny. Yeah. Yes. Teacher, I couldn't I could I didn't the homework. Sorry. I, I just live in the office. I, I, it's a break right now for me. It's a break. I just uh, was working, so after the class, I have to continue with my my job. So I, I promise I try to do the homework tomorrow, but I couldn't do. Okay, no problem. Don't worry about it. Um, you know, it's okay. Uh, the important thing is that 
you get the practice that you need um, when when possible, right? So um, if you want to send me the the sent uh, the sentences later, that's okay, not a problem. Okay, thank you. And Grace, how are you, Grace? Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. I'm fine. And you? Not bad, not bad. Uh, I see very few people right now here. Yeah, there are only four of us right now. I don't know what, maybe maybe it's been a busy day and people are um, not, not uh, here yet. They're, they haven't um, gotten home from work yet, maybe. Yeah, could be because uh, it's almost the end of the month. That could be a reason, maybe. Yeah, that's so true, Grace. Um, at the end of the month, <laughs> there's um, always a yeah. lot of things that people have to do. Um, inventory and things like that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Just give me a moment, guys. I'm going to see. I'm going to try something out. Okay, teacher. Grace. How you are you? The, how are are you? <laughs> yes, I just I just did it, uh, but I don't I don't have all the examples, but two for for everyone to positive, to negative, and to neutral. But uh, I hope the only Ooh. that is what I have done. Ah, uh, that's great. Yeah. But I I been outside and I just come back around ah. 5 p.m. So I been in a different where, meeting. Where were you? Uh, Did you I, have to go out of Tuscania or are you? No, at home? I, I I no I I I went to the uh, clients La Constancia uh, close the yeah the Reloj de Flores yes I had a, a meeting there. Oh, I get it. Yes. What about oh, you? You are, you are, are sorry, you in charge of the of that account? Um, I know a, a salesman. Yes, I am a support sales people. Yeah. So I have to to look some some solutions when the people or the clients are looking some some services. So oh. I have to support to the to the executives, uh, and I have to to show different options for the clients, or, or when the technician, the technician department of Tigo, they have a uh, some doubts or, or something like that. I have to look a reason why we have to install the different semis. That's interesting <laughs> because you you also help them to make the business. <laughs> I know, I know, but uh, sometimes uh, we don't have a solution. But I have to. <laughs> <laughs> you always have to have a solution. <laughs> yes, it's true. Sometimes it's when the quantities. It's expensive, it's a lot of money. Or maybe when the technician solution is different because uh, maybe the, the best solution is too expensive too. But sometimes uh, the clients uh, request us um, something that they don't need exactly, but oh. we have to propose uh, maybe a new solution or uh, some, ideas, some ideas. That's good. Thanks for sharing with us. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are good. excited I, talking. <laughs> yeah, no, this is good. I like I like the fact that you are talking, you know, and, and that's very that's very positive. So don't worry. That's good. Okay, guys. Um, well, um, yesterday we assigned some homework. Uh, some of you already sent it to me. Others are I think I'm still receiving. Um, what did you guys think of the of the of the sentences? Any problems? Not teacher. Uh, well, I just have an, an issue trying to really understand what a compliment means. 
because uh, maybe it's a word that I don't, uh, I'm not used to, to use, um, but uh, I looked for the meaning and, and then uh, I, I think that I did a, a word sentence and, and that's all. Uh, well, I'll try to do um, some of them and, and I will share it to you in the WhatsApp. Okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, actually, um, the word, the word complement um, can be confused with the word complement, right? So don't confuse the one is with an E and the other one was is with an I. The one we were using is with an I, which means um, when you say something nice to a person, okay? Uh, so for example, um, I can say, uh, Grace, I really like your glasses, right? And that's a compliment, right? So I'm saying something very nice to you, yeah? It, that, so that's with an, the one with an I. The one with an E, it means that it's something that completes another thing, okay? For example, um, you can have the complement of a sentence, right? So if, you, if I say to you, for example, um, I cooked, and then I say, um, I cooked um, some chicken and rice for lunch. Then the chicken and rice for lunch is the complement, right? It completes the sentence. Um, I could just simply say, I cooked, and that'd be okay. But it, it complements, it, it, it gives the complete idea. Yeah, that's a complement with an E. And the complement, compliment is um, something nice that someone would say to you, okay? Does that make sense, Grace? Yeah? Okay. Yes, good. I get it. Sorry, my meat was mute. No, it's okay, I it's okay. It. But I, I, I saw your expression, so. <laughs> okay, good. What about the rest of you guys? Any problems with the vocabulary? In my case, I didn't, I, I couldn't check the the video, the the, par, the platform. Sorry. You you weren't able to see the the, the platform. Uh, I I couldn't check the the words. Uh, I remember some that, but I, I couldn't. Uh, I didn't the the, the homework. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, well, then in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to actually check out the, the vocabulary, okay? So, um, I'm going to share my screen with you. Are you able to see the PowerPoint? Not yet. Almost, yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, so this is the Advanced 2. It's day number 6. Your facilitator, Jessica Guerrero. The date, Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the vocabulary. This is vo the vocabulary that we saw yesterday. Um, Okay, so um, it says here, what's appropriate? We saw uh, the, there are 12 words there. Uh, we already expressed the meaning of uh, compliment. What about the others? Any problems with the other vocabulary? No. No. It's okay? No. It's okay. It's okay. It is okay. okay. All right. Wonderful. In that case, let's uh, take a look over here. Uh, now, using this vocabulary, the same words here, uh, what I want you to do is I want you to tell me how would you feel in 
these situations. Okay, so it says you kiss people you meet on the cheek. Okay, in this situation that you meet, that you, um, sorry, you uh, you kiss a person or the people that you meet on the cheek. Oops, sorry, my mistake. Okay, here we go. All right, so it, probably this is something that you have done. Uh, because this is actually a very common practice in, in El Salvador, right? In some countries, no, right? In some countries, a, like kissing someone on the cheek uh, may not be something that, that people do very often. And uh, they may feel, um, well, it's, it's, not, it's not natural, let's say, to, to do that. But in El Salvador, maybe it's not that uncommon. So um, let's see. Leila, tell me, how would you feel, using the vocabulary that we saw yesterday, how would you feel if you kissed some uh, people you meet on the cheek? So this is the first time that you meet a person. How would you feel? Uh, I think uh, here in El Salvador is, is appropriate uh, to, to kiss someone you meet in, on the cheek. Okay, it's appropriate. Okay, good. That's true. But how would you feel about it personally? Mm, personally, I, I feel that it's kind of, um, of uncomfortable and oh. nowadays with, with the new, with the with COVID, I think it, it's inappropriate. Good. Yeah, I agree with you, Leila. I definitely agree with you. Uh, yeah, definitely in, um, especially in this, in this time of day, you would not do that, right? Because, um, you know, because of the protocol, right? Okay, good. Now, you mentioned a word, you said um, you would be uncom uncomfortable, did you say? Yes. Okay. All right. Be careful how you pronounce that word. Because even though it sounds like it has many syllables, but it actually is pronounced a little different than when people think. How do you pronounce it? Or better said, how many syllables does that word have? Like in, Sp in Spanish, incomodo. How would you say that in English? Comfortable. Uncomfortable. So how many syllables is that? Three. Good. Exactly. It's uncomfortable. Sorry, well, actually, that's four because now comfortable was is three, right? With the the un, it would be the it would be four. Good. So it's uncomfortable. It's not pronounced uncomfortable. Okay. So uncomfortable is not correct, even though you you spell it uncomfortable, but you don't pronounce it uncomfortable. You pronounce it uncomfortable. Okay, is that clear for everybody? Yeah. Yes. So, clear, clear. Can you repeat yes. again, please. Yeah, absolutely. You pronounce it uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Thank you. Yes, uncomfortable. Okay. Um, remember that in English there are many uh, letters that we omit. Um, for example, think about the word Wednesday. Wednesday is only two syllables, but it's spelt Wednesday, right? So it looks like it has three syllables, but it's really only two. Okay, so be careful with that. All right, good. Uh, any other, any questions about that? Not the chair. No, the chair. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see. Grace, tell me. Uh, number two. Read number two for me, please. You and your classmates interrupt the teacher. Okay. What do you think about that situation? How would you describe that situation using the vocabulary that we saw? Um, I think it's inappropriate uh, to interrupt the teacher when we are uh, at classes, uh, I think that that is not a good practice and, and it is something that we don't, don't, have, uh, don't have to do. 
um, okay. because uh, it is uh, like, it's not polite doing this. Mm -hmm. What's the opposite of not, what's another word for not polite? In, impolite? Impolite, yeah. 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 Or, um, anybody? What's a, a synonym of impolite? Could be rude. Yeah, mm. exactly, rude. So it's rude. It's rude. It would be rude to interrupt somebody, not just the teacher. I mean, it'd be rude to interrupt somebody um, that is talking, right? So even if it's your classmates, but if your classmates are like, let's say they are presenting, it'd be rude to interrupt them, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, excellent. Uh, Nubia, could you read number three for me? Okay. You stand very close to people when you talk to them. Good, okay. How would you describe that situation? How do you feel about that? Not good. Okay, why? I think that we have to keep our distance when we are talking with someone. Uh, especially when we met him or met her uh, by first time. Okay, I, thank you, Roxy. Yeah. I, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, excellent. Nubia, do you agree with Roxy or do you have another opinion? I agree with Rox Roxy. Okay, okay. How would it make you feel if somebody um, was talking to you and they're like right here in front of you? How would you feel? I feel fear. <laughs> fear? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah, you're, you'd be like, what do you want, right? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I, I don't blame you. That's true. Yeah, okay. So you'd be afraid. Especially, uh, yes. Especially when what? don't have a, how do you say mascarilla? Oh, a face mask. Yes, when they don't have a face mask. Face mask, true. okay. Yeah, a face mask. Yeah, here right now in this moment with COVID, uh, definitely, I, you know, yeah, if they don't have a face mask and they're talking to you like this. Even even if they have a face mask and they're talking to you like this, like this, you know, you're probably not going to feel comfortable. But you know what? Something that's actually cultural is that um, even though it's not considered in El Salvador uh, appropriate, to or yeah appropriate or or a good manners to be very close to somebody but did you know that in lots of latin american countries it's um the distance between two people is actually shorter than the distance that um that it would be considered appropriate if you were talking to like a english native speaker did you know that so what i mean is Let's say that if, if in El Salvador, uh, people consider uh, one, one meter, let's say, to be appropriate to talk to a person, in an English-speaking country, um, it would be appropriate to be not one meter, but maybe a meter and a half, right? So even being a meter close to someone would be still too close and it just has it's actually more of a, a cultural difference remember that in el salvador we're used to being very close right like think about when you go in el microbus right think about that right? terrible <laughs> horrible terrible yeah. terrible yeah you guys know how yes. it is right mm -hmm. they say eh, yeah. Métanse, métanse, que, han, que, que, que todos llevan ropa. Senti, right? senti. Yeah, so um, in El Salvador, 
we're used to being very yes. very close the houses mm -hmm. That's true. the houses are very close together right um everything is so close together because we don't have very much space but in english speaking countries like the united states canada the united kingdom australia etc cetera, etc cetera, these are usually places where there are lots of, there's a lot of space so people use that space and so what would be considered in el salvador um, appropriate maybe in another country is not appropriate you need to be a little bit further apart right so something to take into consideration uh, remember what i was telling you i think it was yesterday we talked about this that when you learn a language a new language it's not just about learning the words or the vocabulary the 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 grammar it's also about learning the language of the sorry the the culture of these people you know when you have a native speaker of that language uh what is appropriate for them what um what would how would they feel comfortable and what would make them feel uncomfortable right and so you take that into account because uh, many of you maybe work with uh maybe work with clients that are english speakers so something to think about okay good uh all right let's see i'd like daniel to tell me number four sure you and your parents talk honestly and openly how do you feel about that sometimes <laughs> sometimes uh, we, we we should talk uh, openly but sometimes uh, we don't have the enough trust enough trust with our uh, uh, parents or our sons but uh, i guess we should have a we should be honestly you should be honest yeah Absolutely. Honest, yes, honest. Yeah, honest. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Any word from the list that you can use to discuss this this idea? Um, el, el, do you say disgust? To discuss, discuss, to talk about. Ah, discuss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Daniel. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Daniel. You you were talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Yes. Maybe when when the the teenager wants to go to the party uh, at night or. Or maybe when they have to go, or they wants to go to the beach with her, with their friends, maybe that is a a, a good pretext. A good pretext when they wants to go, they could could be a good excuse. Um, excuse. A, a good a, a good uh, a good excuse. Yes. Uh huh. A good excuse, yes, that's like a, a good excuse, but sometimes when you you know a lot your your sons and you have enough um I would say enough uh, yes, I lost the words. Oh it's okay, okay. <laughs> enough arguments. Okay. Enough enough argument when you don't give uh, permission. Okay. All right. Good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Barbara, help me out with number five. Okay. Your best friend calls you after 11 p.m. I think uh, it depends. For, for example, it is an emergency. It could be uh, normal to call your best friend or, or they call you. Uh, but if it's something unusual or trivial, trivial? Trivial, trivial. yes, trivial. Um, it is trivial. 
I think it could be inappropriate to call after 11 o'clock. Okay. Now, take into account that this is your best friend. It's not just any friend. It's not, um, you know, it's not a co-worker. It's your best friend. So there's obviously a lot of trust there. Um, you're comfortable with them. You can tell them anything. So what do you guys think? How would you feel? Veronica, how would you feel? Veronica, are you there? Can you hear us? Perhaps she's having pro connection problems. Okay, don't worry. All right, let's go for Jose. How would you feel about about that situation, Jose? Your your friend calling at 11 p.m. Would you be okay with that? I think then because he is for some emergency, he will be okay, but he is only for he, I think it's, it's not good. Okay, so after 11 p.m., if it's an emergency, everybody says it's okay, but if it's not an emergency, no. Okay, sounds good. All right. Uh, Grace, tell me about number six. Okay. You start a conversation with, with a stranger on a bus or subway. I think um, it's inappropriate or better say it's not, it's not usual um, for me. <laughs> but I, I've seen <laughs> a, a lot of people in our country, for example, um, starting a conversation uh, from zero with someone that is next to to them. So um, I think that maybe in our country um, is um, normal for some people to start a conversation. Okay, yeah, good, excellent. You're right. Um, and not everybody has that habit, but for example, in our country, there are many people that do that. Uh, I don't know how many of you have have traveled by bus and you have the person next to you starting to ask you questions and you're like, uh, I don't want to answer, <laughs> right? But but they'd ask you questions. I've asked, I've had many, many people asking me, so where do you live? And I say, oh, you know, around here, <laughs> you know, because obviously you're not going to tell a stranger, a stranger where you live, right? But um, definitely, it, it, I guess it depends on where you're from. Yeah, definitely. Okay, guys, now that we've talked a little bit about cultural differences here. Um, okay, can you guys see that? Oops. Sorry. Let's start again. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's acting funny. Okay, stop. Can you guys see that or no? Yes, I can see. Yes, teacher, we see. Okay. Good. So these are useful expressions that you can use in a conversation. Uh, there are conversation openers and conversation closers. Uh, the conversation openers are those uh, were those expressions that we can uh, use to start a conversation with anybody. Like we were talking about talking uh, to someone on the on the bus, right? Um, you know, you don't know them, a stranger, you can start asking, how's it going? Um, can you believe this weather? It's awful. But notice the way, excuse me, notice the way you ask the question. It says here, can you believe this weather? So it's not just going to be like, um, can you believe this weather, right? It's more about like you want the, the person to agree with you and just it's it's something like admiration so the intonation with these uh, kind of questions are is very important right so you say can you believe this weather it's awful right now awful is in parenthesis because you can use other expressions too you can say for example um, can you believe this weather um, 
it's absolutely gorgeous or something like that, right? Any uh, vocabulary that shows admiration of any sort. Um, you could say, for example, that's a great jacket, right? You can start a conversation like that, or you can not, you don't, that's just an example, right? So you can say, um, that's a great purse. That's a, a great um, pair of shoes or sneakers, right? You compliment the person. Here's the word compliment. You compliment the person to make the person um, feel good about themselves and they go, oh, thanks. And then you can start the conversation. Uh, you can also say, for example, do you know many people here? So that's like uh, when you are at an, an event, right? Like uh, maybe you are at a conference and you say, do you know many people here in the conference, right? Okay. Or we can have conversation closers. The conversation closers are uh, when the, the expressions that you can use at the end of a conversation. So uh, see you later. Right, that's usually with uh, somebody that you know, right? You wouldn't say to a complete stranger, see you later, right? Because you probably are never going to see that person in your life again. The other one is, uh, sorry, I've got, sorry, I've got to run. Talk to you soon. That this, this one is also one that you would use with somebody that you know, um, a friend, a um, family member, a, a, a neighbor, uh, because it says here, talk to you soon. So obviously you're going to see that person. And when it says I've got to run, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be running. What it means is I have to go, right? I have to go. It's just an expression. It was great to meet you. That one we would use with a complete stranger, uh, somebody you meet for the first time. Uh, and the other one is I should get going. I'll call you later. I should get going um, is very similar to I've got I've got to run. It means that I, I have to leave, I need to do other things, and then it says I'll call you later. So obviously that's a, a, with a person that you know as well um, and that you want to keep in touch for, um, you know, regularly. Any questions about this vocabulary? No. I don't seem for. No. Not teacher. Everything is clear. Everything is clear. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a conversation with our classmates. I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. You're going to be working in pairs and you're going to create a conversation. I'm going to give you, let's see, about 10 minutes to create the conversation. The conversation can be about anything. Okay, just make sure it, it lasts at least maybe um, two minutes. I would say two minutes. It's not very, very long. Um, make sure it lasts two minutes and make sure you're using conversation starters and conversation uh, uh, close. Um, Closers, right? Okay. Any questions? No. That's quick. No? no quick. Okay. I think I've lost somebody <coughs> on the way here. Who did I lose? Yeah. Nubia, I think it was, right? Yeah, I think I think I lost Nubia. She probably had a bad connection or something because she was having problems. Um, okay. So what I'm gonna do, I have seven people. Yeah, so we'll make th three groups. Um, one of you is going to have three people in the group. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Okay, so I'm going to give you, like I said, I'm actually going to give you eight minutes so that we have enough time for, for everybody to present. Um, okay, all right guys, uh, go ahead and join your groups.
like Leila. Ah, same Leila. as Leila. <laughs> I knew that Leila and Daniel uh, worked there, but I didn't know that you uh, work at Tivo too. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. In which department are you? In IT, IT department. Ah, I understand. <laughs> Very different <Yeah>. from Leila. <laughs> different department. <laughs> and how was yeah. your day, Leila? It was really good. Um, I I have a, a lot of work, but I I I finish at six, so I I can have a rest and uh, eat the uh, eat the dinner. Uh, so it was good. How about yours? Okay, yeah, mine was uh, some kind of busy because I'm in the at the end of the month, so this is like a special time for me. Mm -hmm. But well, I'm there, <laughs> and I have to be positive and, and doing all this stuff um, as soon as I can. And what do you do at IT, Barbara? Mm -hmm. Sorry, girls, I'm going to drop for a moment. Do you understand exactly what you're going to be doing? Are there any questions? Uh, where are the questions we have to discuss? No, no, no. Um, no, I asked if you have any questions that you want to ask me. Do you understand what you have to do? Yes, the uh, We need to uh, um, have a conversation and, and using the the conversation openers, yeah. I think. And, and closers. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. Okay. If you need any help, if you have something you want to ask me, you can just go ahead and um, ask for help. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. But, but, but oh, oh, always we. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me? This university is buying all the San Salvador Center. Hi. Yeah. I, I can hear you. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. so, Guys, just a question Do you understand what you're supposed to do? Yes, uh, we are going to make a, a conversation using the openers and the closer. That's right, exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Any questions? Yeah, thank you. Uh, no, we are, we are speaking, <laughs> talking okay. with Jose right now. Okay. Great. Nope. Knowing each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. anything you need, just um, call me up, okay? I'll help you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Do you know maybe I forgot how to say it. Uh, I, for, I forgot the word in Spanish and I and I can't to to traduce in English. Okay, what? And I forgot the word in Spanish. Which one? Which and one? I the frequent frequent frequently frequently. Yes. Guys, do I, you have any questions that you want to ask me before we, we finish the session? No, no. Yes, yeah. no thank you. Don't thank you, Jessica. Okay. All right, perfect. All right, then we're going to go back to the main room. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Thank you. See you, Veronica. Okay.
Okay, great. All right, is everybody uh, ready? Ready to present? Yes, we're ready. Right. Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's start with group number one. I think it was uh, Barbara, Grace, and Layla. Okay, so Barbara, Grace, and Layla, um, you can go ahead and present your conversation. Okay. Uh, Gracia, how is it going? Hi, Barbara. I'm, I'm... I'm doing well at at the at my job. Uh, how was your day? Uh, very busy. Uh, and what about you? Well, I'm uh, working right now in a new pro in, in a new project, uh, which is a challenge for me. Uh, I hope to to understand it uh, pretty well and look for some alternatives uh, to give solutions to our clients. And hi, Leila. Yeah, and hi, Leila. How are you? Uh, your jacket is pretty good. Where did you buy it? I can hear you. I'm sorry. I was talking in mute. Uh, thank you, Gracia and Barbara. Uh, I, I bought my jacket in Instagram. Um, can you can you believe this weather? It's awful. <laughs> That's why I, I, I bought my jacket. <laughs> it's not usual okay. to have this weather in our country. Yes, it's really unusual. <laughs> I too get I, I can do later. See you later. I have to run. Bye bye. Bye girl. So, so. All right, bravo, <laughs> excellent. Okay, let me put those, that little clap here. Okay, there we go. Okay, excellent girls, very, very good. Okay, um, just uh, some observations. Uh, well, first of all, good starters. Um, it, yeah, you were able to open up. It sounded like you guys uh, knew each other, right? So you were not talking to a stranger, you were talking to somebody that you knew. Um, now just be careful with some vocabulary. Uh, for example, it's not unusual, it's unusual. So those uh, prefixes are very, um, are very easy to confuse. Uh, like sometimes there are some that use in, some use un. Um, uh, but for example, it would it's okay to say inappropriate or inappropriate, um, but uh, not with unusual. You wouldn't say unusual. You would say unusual. So let's be careful with those words. Uh, but other than that, very good, excellent. Okay, very good. Let's move on to the next group. The next group is Jose and Roxy. All right, go ahead. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, hi, Jose, how is it going? Hi, how's it going? Uh -huh. I can hear you, Jose. <laughs> how's it going? Oh, uh, I'm good. Uh, I was working today at my job and I was busy in the morning. How about you? Oh, what do you do? Excellent. Excellent. Thank Can you. I, I was working today too. And where do you work? Oh, I work at Universidad Tecnológica. Oh, that's a great university. Yes. No. How many studies the university has? Uh, students? Yes. Oh, students. We have around 22,000 students in all careers. Okay, excellent. Okay. Uh, and, what do, and what do you do? 
I am Quantum. I I work for 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 oh, okay <laughs> i am guessing <laughs> okay jose well i i know that that you know that we have interferences in our conversation it was good to talk to you uh-huh <laughs> well <laughs> Okay, Jose, see you later. <laughs> okay, finish. Okay, here. very good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, sometimes there are, there are technical difficulties. Yes. And, and uh -huh. it happens, but it's okay. But I, I think uh, I, I think she, what Jose said at the end, see you later, right? Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Right, Jose? I, I think that's what I heard. <laughs> See you later. Yes or no? See you later. Did you say that? See you later. I say I was late to talk to you. I was late to talk to you. And she say, see you later. Uh huh. It was great talking to you. And see you I later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Excellent. All right, guys. Very, very good. Um, yeah. Time is over. Huh? <laughs> Time is over. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's hear the last but not least group, uh, Daniel and Veronica. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Veronica. How, How are you? I am a little scared because, um, because, let me, because can you believe this weather? It's helpful because here in San Miguel it's raining hard. And when rain hard makes me feel scared. Oh, yes, I, I imagine that is very hot. I'm not sure it's raining around there. Yes, here in San Miguel it's raining hard right now. Yes. And yes, and I'm saying when when it's raining hard it makes me feel scared. Hey Veronica, Veronica, where do you work? I work in a financial company called AMC. Ah, that sounds good. Do you know many yes. people in that area? Yes, because I work in a Albina area and I have to go out to visit and evaluate the different agencies. Ah. And I have to meet many people there. Good, that is a great job, Veronica. Yes, I think, I think it is. Uh, I, I was great to meet you, Veronica. Can you repeat, please? It was great to meet you. Yes, it was great to meet you too. Okay, see you. <laughs> that is all, teacher. <laughs> you are new, teacher. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Okay, uh, very good, excellent. And uh, I think I, I think uh, you made it very realistic, right? Because um, I think it's raining where you are, right, Veronica? Yes, it's raining. Yeah, yeah, we can hear it. You know, it's very wow. Did you see that? It was there's <laughs> there's a lot of lightning. Wow. Where do you live, Veronica? I live in San Miguel. I live ah, near okay. to Metro Centro. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. Yes. Wow, okay. Well, that's that's interesting. Um, I think it's it, if it's going if it's raining in Samiel, maybe later it's going to be raining in San Salvador too. Yeah. All right. Just one question before anything about this last conversation: Did the people know each other, or were they strangers that were meeting for the first time? What do you guys think? Did Daniel and Veronica know each other from before they were friends or was it the first time that they were meeting?
I don't know. <laughs> they were friends? Mm, okay. Any other ideas? What did they say at the end of the conversation? See you later. Mm, yeah. It was great to meet you. It was great to meet you. It was oh, great okay. to meet you. So were they friends or were they strangers that were say, meeting for the first time? Maybe strangers. Yeah, it mm -hmm. yeah, it sounds like they were maybe not strange people <laughs> because strange people would mean that they were like um, gente rara, <laughs> right? So maybe not strange people. I don't know, right? But I don't think so. Uh, but definitely strangers. Strangers, yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Excellent, guys. All right. Uh, any questions at this moment? No. No, teacher. No? Okay. <laughs> All right. Just a review a little bit about what we did last week uh, with the gerunds and infinitives. I want you guys for homework to do the following. You're going to write three sentences in your notebook. Listen carefully to the instructions. You're going to write three uh, sentences using the gerund and the infinitive. Okay? Okay. The, sorry, the gerund and infinitive phrase. Two of those sentences have to be true for you. Something that is real about you. Two. Okay? Um, it could be something like, I don't know, um, playing soccer is my passion. Or it's, um, it's difficult for me um, to, I don't know, cook spaghetti. I don't know. Something like that. Anything that is with a, a gerund or infinitive phrase that is a real sentence for you, something that's true for you. Okay. And one sentence that is a lie, that's something that is not true for you, okay? But you're not going, you're just going to, you're going to mix them up. It doesn't have to be number one, number two are true, and number three is false. It can be in any order. So maybe you can do, num number one can be the false one, or number two can be the false one. But in total, two of those sentences have to be true about you, and one sentence has to be false. But all the sentences have to use a gerund or an infinitive phrase. Is that clear for everybody? Yes. Yes, yeah? it's clear. Okay, perfect. Yes, that's clear. Oh, all right. Okay, guys, so that's all for today. Um, any questions before we leave? No question. No? Nothing you want to ask? Okay. Like I said before, if you uh, didn't do the homework, um, you can still send the... Uh, sentences to the to the WhatsApp group, um, and I will check them and I will give you any feedback. I already have given some feedback to some of the the people that have sent their um, their their answers. So if you guys haven't done it, just go ahead and you can either take a picture uh, uh, um, of the homework or send it typed. Okay. All right, guys, okay. it's been you, wonderful Thank seeing you, you guys to, again, and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Okay, Bye. see you. Bye. 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 See you. See you, Daniel. See you, teacher. Bye, Veronica.